Hey guys, welcome to another video. So last video I did at the end uh, after working with Natalia and, and, and catching up with Les and Eric to do some shooting on location. Um, talked about things I wanted to do with the channel, upcoming videos, and I wanted to get more experience practicing with the XF150 to 600 along with the XH2S and doing some birds in flight. Um, now I primarily shoot street photography for fun and I do portraiture work uh, for paid stuff as well as for fun as well. And, but I consider myself kind of a general photographer when it comes to the personal stuff and going out and enjoying myself. And I will let you guys know that I am failing badly when it comes to birds in flight. Um, if they're not flying, uh, I'm a lot better off, you know, maybe because of that portrait side of me. Um, and uh, I, I just, not, I, it's not a camera settings thing for me right now. It's more of an opportunity. Uh, you know, again, one of those things that I talk about giving yourself the best opportunity to get the, the pictures that you want to get, the images that you want to get. So I went out recently to Lake Erie Metro Park uh, here in Michigan and decided to see what I can do in having some fun with the current hawk migration that is going on. And as I drove in, I was pretty excited. You know, I was like, the, the, the day was a little overcast. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna be too bad. I think I thought that, you know, I, I'll be able to handle this with the lens, even though it's a, you know, F8, um, I still will be able to handle it. The birds aren't too high up. And I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> the birds were very high up. The hawks were super high. Um, I, I would have needed to bring a teleconverter and had some good light to be able to get the birds uh, or the hawks, I should say, as they were flying over. Um, as I approached the dock or boating launch area where folks were set up to view the hawks, they had these massive uh, binoculars, monoculars that they were using to get good views, uh, up close images of the hawks. And yeah, I was not in that position. So. Of course, me wanting to take, make the most of the situation thought, well, it's a big park. Let me go around and walk around and see what I can get. There are gonna be birds, they're gonna be herrings, they're gonna be egress, they're gonna be sandpipers. Uh, my most recent bird photo of sandpiper and a, a wood sandpiper that is, and, um, and um, woodpecker was at this park. So I decided to go ahead and try to find me some more opportunities. And I walked. And I walked. And I walked. And 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 I walked. Um, I was just impressed. And maybe it was the time of the day I was there. I was there just around noon time. Um, and I know that might be late for birds, but the, the hawks were migrating. There was a lot of them. And uh I, I just, again, was just amazed that, and maybe because the predator hawks were out, a lot of the birds were out of sight, and that could have been it too. But it was just nothing to really go after. And then when, as I walked around, there were some great views, you know, uh, I'm right there off of uh, the lake, Lake Erie Metro Park. So there were some great views. There were some inlet areas where there was some awesome uh, uh, tall grass. Uh, I found myself though always catching the back of whatever bird I could find flying, whether that be ducks or geese. Um, I just kept walking and and walking to try to get opportunities. Uh, sitting still really wasn't helping me at all, unless I was out there to do uh, landscape photography, which I guess I could have done with the 150 to 600. But I was out there to get birds, and I got a tree. I got whatever this is. We'll say I got abstract. <laughs> and um, I just, again, oh, I got I got a plane, um, you know, but the overcast didn't do a great job for me. Um, and then just the opportunity just wasn't there. Um, I, so I think what I need to do is make sure that uh, I do a little more research on the area, the birds that, are, that should be here and at times that are best to go back to the park and uh, give myself a better opportunity. So I will say with all of the walking, 
I did get an, enough exercise and I did get uh, a good amount of mileage on my iWatch. So that was a positive. And again, I, I was out there to get some images and I will say that I did get two images that I thought was well, pretty decent. Um, it didn't make me feel good after getting these images. And one was, of course, it was of a herring. And then after the herring shot, I was walking a little and sure enough, and this may have been the same woodpecker from the last time I was here, but he started chirping and dancing and getting my attention saying, take a picture of me, take a picture of me. And so I did. So, but a, a nice fall day really did appreciate that I did get out and shoot, which is, was the main goal. Um, but I just have to keep working on that birds in flight and, and, and I really want to get it to a point where I can go after opportunity. So when you fail in that instance, you go reach out to the people, you know, that do the style of photography and get some, uh, advice. And I did reach out to a, a, a friend who informed me of two parks to go to, uh, just, uh, uh, inside the border of Ohio, since I'm close to that over by Toledo. And I will be going there hopefully in the next couple of days, um, to see what I can get there and give myself more opportunity. So biggest lesson learned, of course, I want to always say to you guys is, is yeah, you, you may not go after what you want, but take advantage of what you have in front of you make the most of it. Uh, learn those lessons and, uh, get out and shoot. So see you guys on the next video. And I'll be looking forward to getting a Sunday live uh, up and going here, probably this upcoming Sunday. So I'll have that posted as well. So we can uh, have some fun, discuss some photography topics and uh, get out and shoot. Talk to you on the next one.